Hello again, everyone. Edward Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, we'll be talking about uh, zodiac signs and emotions. I did a video about this a number of years ago. It was entitled, I believe, Zodiac Signs and Emotion. I'm going to do um, another uh, segment on this. It's um, going to be uh, reiterating some of what I talked about in that first one and adding some thoughts on it on this spot, on this one. So, anyway. As far and it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as Aries goes, well, Aries on an emotional level, I mean, obviously can experience very angry, acrimonious emotions and feelings. They will certainly not hold back if they are provoked or they are angered in some way, but they do forgive and forget very quickly. There's those, those, those angry acerbic emotions are often not sustained, but Aries can also be very enthusiastic and uh, they, they, they could have some very positive feelings uh, as well. Um, Aries, it's not just all about anger, but a lot of their emotional energy is associated uh, with this. Now, going uh, to Taurus, well, Taurus uh, emotions, I mean, they're not exactly the most exuberant um, emotion in a sign as far as emotional energy goes. I mean, I have a Taurus ascendant, I have a Cancer sun, but my Taurus ascendant, I mean, makes me appear very placid and passive and very calm, composed. I really uh, don't, I, I have a little harder time expressing that emotional energy, I think, for that reason. And Taurus uh, emotions can come out. I mean, when they're really, I mean, Taurus being an earth sign, it's really connected with depressive feelings a lot. I think their emotions can be very sad when they actually do come up, but often they, uh, those emotions, sometimes angry emotions can come out through some kind of persistent and determined goading. And it's often a, a response when they become very infuriated due to this, where they can actually become uh, very irrational. So that those are some emotions feelings i mean that's what a uh, taurus emotional energy uh can be about because they they are not really the most emotional of, of the zodiac signs but when it does come out it can make up for all those times they didn't express it um but the the emotions can be very enduring and sustained as taurus is about those things anyways taurus is about persistence and I mean, when the motions are, are very uh, sustained in Taurus, I would say all the earth signs, but especially Taurus, I would say. So anyway, now while with Gemini, well, Gemini emotional energy, Gemini emotions can be about connected with their high strung and excitable energy. The Gemini could be very animated uh, when they become uh, when they become excited about something, even when they're upset or agitated, a lot of it is very animated. It could be out of a manifold and, and variety of feelings uh, with Gemini is what they can be uh, about. But Gemini emotions can often be very superficial and, and really very strongly uh, on the surface as far as uh, as far as Gemini uh, may go, but they are when in Gemini I often could see emotions as like a weakness, I believe, in others and have an anathema to it or having an animosity toward um, emotions and emotional people. But Gemini can still become very excited when they're upset about something, they often can't control their the temperament, which is often very high strung and excitable. But um, now going to Cancer, well, Cancer, I mean maybe it, obviously it's one of the more emotional of the zodiac signs and they are uh they are a sign they'll leave their feelings right on their sleeves when they're upset they don't really care i don't think who really um who who sees it i mean cancer of course could be very sensitive to criticism and ridicule again the emotional energy of cancer could be very much on the sleeves they will often wear their feelings uh they are they are ones that are not often they're often not going to suppress or try to control or hide uh their emotions they could be very sensitive they can get upset very easily and it, it's a sign that um and especially like i mean cancer gets hurt i mean cancer may unequivocally love more than the other zodiac signs on average i really do believe this and that is often why they become hurt very easily cancer is very sentimental they could cry very uh, easily sometimes it's even tears of happiness but they could cry a lot more quicker than love than most of the other signs on average now 
going to um, now going to Leo. Well, Leo emotions can be rather. Um, I mean, they could be dramatized. Leo has a very fiery temperament, and Leo is similar to Gemini, I think, in very excitable, high-strung energy. They could become, I mean, what Leo um, tends to jump off the handle uh, very quick. Like Aries, they're not vindictive or vengeful or hold grudges for any sustained period. But Leo energy, I mean, when their ego or pride is hurt, especially, they can express themselves very demonstratively and really explode uh, big time. I don't think Leo is as easily provoked as Aries, but they're not far behind. And Leo, again, can have their emotions can be very dramatized. And it's often, I mean, their, their anger, I mean, when they, when they get mad, it's like their voice can ascend to a roar like the lion. It's a lot of ferocity uh, connected uh, with Leo and their emotions. So, but I, uh, but um, they're certainly not as emotional, say, as like a Cancer or Pisces. Now going to, uh, we're going to go, I mean, going to Virgo now. Well, Virgo could be a sign that might actually dissect, compartmentalize, and analyze their emotions. Their emotions are often connected with some kind of misery. They get some kind of worrisome energy. And Virgo often can appear very pensive and thoughtful. I think they, they often won't express their, be afraid to express their emotions unless they've analyzed the situation thoroughly and thought things out thoroughly uh, in doing so. Uh, their emotions can be somewhat sad and because i mean it uh, virgo is an earth sign but they can be very sustained the earth signs in contrast to the water signs i see the you know the water signs are more emotionally exuberant they're the ones that will often either when express their emotions they they express them very frequently very naturally but the earth signs have a tendency to not express them at nearly as much but when they do uh, express them, it can be for a more prolonged, protracted uh, period. So, but um, but again, a Virgo can be emotionally upset when they are worried about things. I believe, and they uh, they don't really uh, want to express their emotions that much. But in those situations, that's when I see when they they actually can do that. Now, going to Libra, Libra is a sign. That certainly doesn't want to lose uh, any equilibrium as far as their emotions go. They want to. They they often are emotionally balanced and will express a fair amount of. They could express a fair amount of emotions and just different as far as different emotions, different feelings may go. But there are. They can be very balanced. Libra can be very even tempered. And being an air sign, the emotions can be somewhat on the. Uh, on the sur surface, somewhat superficial, but I think Gemini even more because Gemini is a, the sign more associated with superficiality. But uh, Lib Libra will often express their feelings and their being upset when something is unlawful, it's unjust, it's unfair. When when something when something is connected with injustice, because simply Libra can abhor uh, injustice. But anyway, well, going to Scorpio. Well, Scorpio is certainly one of the more emotional signs, being a water sign. They often will try to, I mean, they often will control their emotions. They dislike expressing their emotions, but when they come out, they can be very convoluted, and even chaotic. They and very intense. Scorpio, uh, um, as far as, I mean, their emotional intensity in things can certainly be uh, unmatched. And the thing about it is, um, Scorpio is like the, I mean, the planet Pluto, I see, because Pluto does rule Scorpio. Pluto um, has an icy uh, surface, I believe, but underneath, I mean, it seems, uh, I don't know if it's 100% confirmed or not, but it appears that it could very well have some raging waters below it. I mean, Scorpio can have a lot of turbulent energy, I believe, beneath the surface, and they often can come out in a very strong, extreme uh, rage when they become uh, very upset. It's like a dam that finally breaks uh, with Scorpio. And uh, their emotions can be very, uh, very powerful, uh, to say uh, the least. So anyway, now going to Sagittarius. Well, Sagittarius is not a sign necessarily wants to really show that when they're, they're upset or agitated or angry. But I mean, Sagittarius emotions are often connected with joy and happiness. Jo do, do Sagittarius can be very jocular and jovial. And they're ones that don't really want to express emotions connected with sadness or despondency. They often don't want to be around 
people that can have that kind of a negative impact on them or on how they feel. But remember, Sagittarius being ruled by Jupiter is expand. I mean, it's about expansion. And when Sagittarius may become upset, their emotions may be somewhat distorted or they might overreact to certain things and whether it's becoming over exuberant or being happier than they need to be or even more upset than they need to be Sagittarius emotions are somewhat enlarged when they do uh, come out remember Sagittarius is a fire sign so there is a, a little bit of a temper that can be connected uh, with Sagittarius uh, as well but anyway now going to uh, Capricorn well Capricorn is a sign of course I mean they're ruled by Saturn their uh, emotional energy could be very, I mean, very sense. Capricorn generally does not like to express uh, their emotions, but because, I mean, they are ruled by Saturn. It's the, uh, Capricorn, of course, is the opposite sign of, of Cancer. They're like the antithesis of the zodiac sign Cancer. Um, they are often, I mean, inhibited in terms of expressing their emotions, but when it does come out, being an earth sign, it can be very sustained. Their emotional energy is often connected with sadness or some form of distress or feeling melancholy or despondent. I mean, Capricorn is the, the you know, the sign I, I see is the most, you know, is connected with you know, more depressive energy, more so than the other uh, zodiac signs. Uh, on average and uh, but they're not really ones that are overly uh, emotionally uh, exuberant now going to um, Aquarius now as far as Aquarius goes well Aquarius is a, a sign that could of course be very aloof uh, and detached they're very cerebral and intellectual they often can be averse to their their emotions but remember being ruled by the planet Uranus their um, their energy could be very erratic and sporadic and their emotions can be that way as well when they actually do come out at some point and they could be very unpredictable there could even be some unusual uh, feelings that they may actually um, express and the emotional energy of Aquarius is really very unpredictable to say uh, the absolute uh, least but they are often more in control of their emotions than the other signs and average being given the fact that they are an air sign now last but not least I want to talk about Pisces well Pisces emotions of course can be all encompassing they are I mean I think they're really about the most really most emotional of the zodiac signs they when their emotions come out they could be again very powerful and really can be very chaotic uh, as well they could be going in all different directions uh, Pisces is I mean I believe I mean in, in theory some astrologers will concur with me some may not but I do believe that they are the amalgamation of the previous 11 zodiac signs and they are uh, really uh, they're a sign that can be very uh, exceptionally sentimental very sensitive they often pick up on the energy uh, of others and they are like a sign mean they they be, they can be very fragile and very super sensitive to say uh, the absolute uh, least I mean especially when Pisces is like either betrayed or what or what happens is um, if, if somebody doesn't meet their their grandiose expectations they could become very upset uh, very easily and they, they're the sign I see is the most emotional of the zodiac signs and when it does come out I mean their emotions are very a strong to say uh, the absolute least so anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for um, so my um, zodiac signs and uh, emotions and uh, until next time people Edwin Lawrence saying stay well